All right, y'all. Welcome back. What we're going to tie tonight. This is the sprouting pheasant tail. Um, what we have in the vise right now. Uh, this is what I'm going to tie my extended body on. The thread that we're using tonight is a uni thread in brown. We'll talk about the stuff as we go. I'm going to use a piece of foam pair post. Um, this fits sizes 14 through a 12. I'll be tying on a 14 uh, for the rest of the fly. I've colored the tip in black. That'll give me a couple tying points. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and measure. I don't need the whole piece, so there ain't no point in wasting it. I'm going to clip that off. I'm going to run this up on the, my little stud there. You can use a needle if you want to. Now, I'm going to use where I've colored that in black as a marker point. Make sure you stay on the foam. You don't want to get too carried away there. Don't get it on the tied in too tight. Then I'm going to come in with some uh, sparkle brown dubbing. This will help match it to the pheasant tail. We're going to make this noodle thin. We don't want to get it too awful big. I'm going to cover all the white. And then we're going to come in with a piece of white. This is high rise in dry fly hackle. Um, we're going to come in and clip that out at the V where it starts to get a little thicker. We don't need too many uh, turns of this. Just a couple turns will do it. Come in and catch it in on the side. Tie it up into that black portion. And we're gonna take some turns. Catch that in right across the top. Whip finish. Trim on our extra thread, trim out the extra dry fly hackle. I'll pinch these down on the side a little bit, then come across and trim it out across the top and the bottom. That way it gives the illusion of wings coming off to the side. Hit this with a little bit of UV. Now we're going to pull that piece off of the stud. And set that to the side. Pull the stud out. Load in our size 14 hook. Tighten it up a little bit there. I've got that pointed down on purpose. I'm going to tie all the way through the bend. I'm going to start my thread wraps uh, just about in line with the hook point. We'll work our way down. Halfway through the bend. Clean that out. And come in six to eight strands of pheasant tail. Tail's going to be roughly the gap of the hook. Catch that in. Pull it back. Dance our thread back forward. Original tying point. We're going to start wrapping the pheasant tail forward. Touching turns. You can rib this if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to. catch those in at the original tying point and we're going to adjust our hook make it easier to work with from here on out clip that out take a little bit 
larger clump of pheasant tail. I'm going to tie this one in by the butts because we want that, that thicker stuff up front. Once we're here, we're going to bring in our extended body. We're going to tie that in right at the base. While we're here, we're going to come in a little bit more of our sparkle dub. that to cover up our tying point and with the pheasant tail that we tied in we're going to split it and use that to create the wing case Once you're here, come in and clean those out tight. Don't throw them away. We're going to use those again. And we're going to take three to five and tie these in for our legs. No, two, two loose wraps so we can adjust them. Same thing on my side. Just my side, make it look the way I want it to. Pull these back, get a wrap under, go back over. This will help build that head up. We're going to come in and clean those out tight. Come in half hitch. One more time. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's a size 14. I'll tie this all the way up to a 12 down to an 18. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, tie them up. They'll definitely take some fish. Uh, show it to your friends. Uh, don't forget to like our page. Go ahead and turn on the bell icon. That way when we upload new videos, you guys get notifications. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And like always, if there's anything you guys want to see, just leave it in the comments below. And we'll tie it up for you. And until next time.